I'm Daniel Abadovsky and uh, wrote a book, uh, The Silent Intelligence, together with Daniel Kelmerite of Datacon USA. And uh, also, uh, I manage a company called Diosis Technologies. So the reason we called our book The Silent Intelligence is we believe that's actually the quintessence of the Internet of Things. So things are happening on the background, happening quietly, and yet they're providing a lot of intelligence. So it's not kind of a type of technology that jumps into you and overloads you and you need to figure out how to work with it. I think the ultimate idea of the Internet of Things, the technology will become a lot more intuitive it will go into the background and provide us the intelligence we need at the right time and the right place. I think especially this year, a lot of exciting things have happened. If you remember in the traditional internet back in the 90s, when Netscape went public and uh, closed at $2.9 billion, that what was called the Netscape moment, which kind of prompted the whole huge growth of the, of the internet. So this year, I think we had the Netscape moment for the IoT, or maybe you want to call it Nestscape moment, when Nest got acquired by Google at the beginning of the year for $3.2 billion. Maybe it's not for the whole Internet of Things, maybe it's just for home automation, but it's definitely a very significant event, as we've seen with a lot of other acquisitions that happened afterwards. Also, I think a lot of trends just aligned. Uh, the, the cost of the networks, the cost of the connectivity, the cost of the hardware, I just at that point where there's no excuse for the further rapid growth of the Internet of Things. Well, for sure, it's uh, you know things like uh, fragmentation. We still have uh, way too many companies, way too many protocols, way too many technologies. So, which is nightmare both for customers, consumers, and uh, developers. And uh, I think. Um, uh, the other issues are on privacy and security and data ownership that we need to deal with. Uh, so I think those are the issues that we'll need to be working in. And we're already seeing quite a bit of consolidation as uh, 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 companies are uh, coming together, at least addre addressing the fragmentation issue. You know, to me, trust is the foundation of doing business. And it's foundation of doing business between people and between companies. If you don't have trust, consumers don't adopt products. Now, if you think about things like data privacy or data security, if somebody would hack into mission-critical devices like medical devices, you know, like, uh, like heart rate monitors, pacemakers, or insulin pumps, that's going to completely destroy our trust into connected devices and their ability to help. I think that's why it's so important that security and data privacy are being addressed before something bad happens. I think we've seen already quite a bit of consolidation happening in the market. Look at the home automation space, right? It all started with Google buying Nest, and then Nest went and bought Dropcam, and more recently Revolve. Samsung bought, bought SmartThings, and there are some other consolidation happened in other markets. But basically, in home automation, we're already like out of, almost out of home hub companies. Uh, so I think in the future, maybe next year, maybe so, you will see a lot more consolidation in wearable devices. So um, yeah, it's definitely going to come together and we're going to see more maybe top three or four players like we're seeing in other industries. Because it's getting a lot of momentum and at the same time, there are way too many players and you can't I can't point your finger and say, okay, this is the one they get it right. I think everybody is innovating in the moment. And I think with wearable devices, especially utility is very important. You, you're not going to wear three or, you know, or, or, or more than two uh, wearable devices on your wrist, more than one wearable device on your wrist. You don't want to have a watch and a Fitbit and a fitness track and a heart rate monitor. You want to have one device that combines, combines all the key utility and maybe even personal authentication. So I think there's going to be more consolidation. Maybe bigger people like Apple, Samsung, and others are going to acquire more smaller companies. Maybe one of the smaller are going to become bigger and start acquiring other companies. But it kind of feels like it's about to happen.